I would now like to give you a live demo of Shona so that you get a feeling for how fast it runs and how easy it is to work with it. So I'm here connected to a Jupyter notebook in my browser that runs on a remote server which is equipped with an NVIDIA RTX 3090 GPU. And the first cell you see just reproduces the Hello World example that I've shown previously. Note that I've increased the batch size to 20,000, which means that we will simulate 20,000 codeware transmissions in parallel. I will now execute the cell, which takes roughly um, 2.3 seconds. And note that this is the eager execution, which is slow, but allows me to get access to any intermediate results, which is convenient for debugging. So for example, um, I can see here that X is a tensor of shape 20,000 times 250. A very nice feature of Jupyter is that I can press shift tab to show the doc string of any object. So for example, if I want to know how to instantiate the LDPC 5G encoder, I can see that it takes two arguments, K and N, which are the number of info and coded bits respectively. And if I want to know a bit more, I can also go to the Shona API documentation website which provides a lot of additional information, implementation details, as well as references. Once I'm happy with my code, I can wrap it into a Keras model, which is what I've done in the next cell. Note that I've used the TF function decorator, which tells TensorFlow to execute in graph mode. And I've also used the JIT compile flag to activate XLA. When I now execute this model, you can see that it runs in roughly 200 milliseconds, which is almost 12 times faster. I can now um, use a convenience function that Shona um, provides to simulate a bit error rate curve. We simulate here at least 100 block errors for each SNR point. And thanks to GPU acceleration, the simulation of this whole curve takes actually less than 15 seconds. Another thing that I wanted to show you in this demo is how easy it is to go from a simple AWGN channel to a full-blown OFDM system transmitting over a 3GPP TDL channel model. I first need to set up an OFDM resource grid and define some parameters of the TDL model, such as the delay spread, the carrier frequency, and user speed. I've created here an OFDM slot that contains 14 OFDM symbols across 7 to 2 subcarriers the two OFDM symbols are reserved for pilots. In the next cell, I will now set up an end-to-end -end model in which I have separated out the components that are new. We have a resource grid mapper. We have the OFDM channel model, a least squares channel estimator, as well as an LMMSE equalizer. And the rest is exactly as before. And when I now execute this code, it takes almost twice as long as for the AWGN channel but there are, of course, many more components that need to be simulated. I can now wrap the code again in the Keras model so that I can easily run bit error rate simulations. And you can um, see again here that the simulation of this curve is really fast and will take only around 20 seconds. And so for anyone who is used to run such code on CPU using for loops, this will be uh, quite a game changer with possibly no coming back. Yeah, this is now the last SNR point. So we should almost be done. And voila, 